Overseas now, the fight over Ukraine is escalating tensions between the U.S. and Russia. The United States now imposing economic sanctions, while Russian lawmakers have authorized the use of its military force. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo joining us live this morning with the details about the escalating crisis there. Good morning, Jan. Janelle, good morning. Some world leaders fear that Putin could be on the verge of all-out war. So happening today, the United Nations General Assembly is set to meet. No doubt the deteriorating conditions there in Ukraine will dominate the conversation. Meantime, the U.S. and its allies are already taking action. So let's bring up to date here. The U.S. has started to roll out sanctions against Russia for sending troops into eastern Ukraine, a move President Biden called the start of a broader offensive. The sanctions announced yesterday target two Russian state banks and several individuals linked to the Kremlin. The president said more sanctions could follow if Russia continues with its invasion. Meantime, Russian leader Vladimir Putin showed no signs of backing down. Yesterday, he defended his decision to recognize two areas of Ukraine as independent states and said Moscow now has an obligation to defend them. Satellite images here show new Russian military deployments to the region as well. So now, Secretary of State Antony Blinken has canceled Thursday's sit down with Russia. As foreign minister, but the White House says it is still open to talks. We're never going to completely close the door to diplomacy, and I don't think uh, the, the Secretary of State did that either. But uh, just to build on what he just said, uh, diplomacy can't succeed unless Russia changes course. Now, the White House is also coordinating its sanctions with its allies, including Germany, Japan, and Australia. The U.S. is also moving its troops, already based in Europe, to support its NATO allies that border Russia. We'll continue to keep you up to date, but for now, we're reporting live. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back into you, Jim. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate it. And we'll continue to follow the escalating tensions between Russia and Ukraine. You can always stay up to date on our website, cbsphilly.com.